what we have here is a section of Hammersmith flyover. You see, there's the actual structure on the in the background of my computer screen, and there is one I've made up out of Fisher Technic construction blocks. Now, how it works is that it's a series of big concrete blocks threaded together in effect with steel tension bars through them to keep everything tight. Concrete's very strong under compression when you pull it tight. It's not so great under tension, so the tension load is handled by steel. Steel cables running through it. Now the problem is, is that if I let the tension off the cable, what happens? it falls apart. The cable is what keeps all the blocks in together. Without tension on the cable there's no, there's little little strength between the main blocks and uh, the point being it relies on the cables running through the middle to uh, keep all the blocks together and keep its strength. Now, So let me put it back together. It's called the post tension structure. What that means is the uh, blocks are made first, it's all assembled together, and then the tension is put on the cables afterwards. That's what they mean by post tension. It's all tensioned up after the concrete has the blocks have been assembled. Unlike some types of concrete where the cables are put in first and the concrete's poured around them. See, now that I've got the tension back on the cable, it's strong again. I'm just pulling on the string that represents the tension and that's holding it all together. I could wave it about happily and nothing happened. As soon as I let the string go, it falls to pieces. <laughs> that's it. Finished. The problem is the cables in the real one are rusting and some of them have already broken. That's from what I hear in news reports. So they've had to close it pending uh, emergency repairs. So they, there you have it. One needing of fixing flyover and uh, as soon as you put the tension back on the wire it's all strong again now because the cables were put in afterwards i'm assuming they're relatively easy to get at so changing them shouldn't be a great problem and uh, it's just fortunate that they found the issue with inspections before it became a major embarrassment i know the flyover quite well i used to walk under it every day when i used to work in london so uh I'm well familiar with this uh, structure which actually is only a year older than I am and so there you have it fingers crossed that they get it fixed smoothly and nothing terribly embarrassing happens meanwhile